What's going on, guys? If you're watching this video, chances are your SAT is coming up pretty soon, or it might be even tomorrow, or it might be that you're on the way to the testing center and you're watching this right now. Hopefully, you're watching this at least the day before the SAT, because I'm going to share with you three things that you don't want to miss out on to maximize your performance on the day of the SAT and get the highest score possible. These are the three things that I wish I had known back in high school when I was taking the SAT and a couple of things that I have picked up on after working with over 300 students on raising their SAT scores. So if you're ready to go kill it on the SAT and get the highest score possible, then go ahead and smash the like button and we're going to talk about the three things that you should know the day before the SAT. So the first tip is more of do not do this the day before your SAT. And that is do not learn anything new. If you're prepared for the SAT and you're running short on time, chances are you're trying to squeeze in that last minute of studying, last minute of concepts on the last day. So for example, let's say you have covered about 70% of the topics tested on the SAT and you haven't learned or kind of shaky on these 30%. And you might be having a dilemma on should I focus on learning and mastering these 70% or should I try to get these 30% in so that I can get more questions right tomorrow? And almost always with very few exceptions, my advice is to, hey, just focus on mastering and solidifying what you have already learned. That's because if you learn something new the day before the SAT, it's going to do you more harm than good. And honestly, it's better for you to be the master of these 70% rather than be shaky on everything that's tested on the SAT. Because at least if you know these topics deep down, you're going to get these questions right for sure. So what you should do the day before the SAT is to review all your notes and maybe all your past practice questions. And if you're studying with SAT Math Accelerator, you know that you're going to have these nice concept summaries for every single topic that is tested on the SAT. And you can just quickly skim through them, review them, and you'll be good to go in less than an hour. And by flipping through those summaries, everything is going to be fresh in your head and you'll be ready to go kill it on the day of the SAT. So the first tip is for you to not learn anything new and just focus on reviewing what you have learned. And the second tip, which I think is more important than the first one, is for you to prepare for tomorrow the night before. Prepare for tomorrow the night before. What do I mean by that? It just means have everything prepared so that when you wake up the next morning, you don't have to think about anything. Everything is ready to go. If you wake up the next morning and start freaking out on, oh, do I have everything? Do I have my ID? Is my calculator charged? Is it not charged? Holy crap, what am I going to do? That anxiety is going to continue. You're going to take that anxiety all the way from your house to the testing center and all the way throughout your SAT. And if you're anxious and the adrenaline is running all the way through your body, you're not going to be able to perform well on your SAT. So to solve that problem, make sure you have everything you need in one spot before you go to sleep tonight. Your student ID, your testing ticket, your writing utensils, your calculator, make sure it's charged. And even the clothes that you are going to wear, make sure you have it in one spot so that when you wake up the next morning, you are ready to go. And a quick story here, I actually had one student in the past who was very intense and he was super, very serious about scoring high on the SAT. And to make sure he was in the best condition possible and he was as calm as possible, he actually wore his exam day clothing. Like he actually dressed into what he's going to wear tomorrow and to sleep with it. That way, when he wakes up tomorrow morning, he's ready to go. He doesn't even have to change. All he needs to do is grab his stuff, maybe brush his teeth and then go to the exam center. And surprisingly, he did really well. So I don't know if you want to score higher, go to sleep with your exam clothing on. So the second tip is for you to prepare for tomorrow the night before. And the third and the last tip is for you to go to sleep early. Before you exit out of this video, I know you have heard of this a thousand times, but just there's one thing most people don't know about sleep. As we all know, nobody's special. We are all guilty of putting off studying for the SAT until the very last minute. And it's completely normal, although it's not the best, it's completely normal for you to try to cram in as much information as possible the night before the SAT. And to do that, some people stay up until 2, 3, 4 in the morning to cram as much information in as possible, thinking that it's going to help them score higher. The truth is that you're probably getting smarter and you're going to get more of these questions right because you're cramming all these new informations in. But the only downside is that you're not going to be able to use these new informations. That's because when you're sleep deprived, it doesn't matter how much new information you have absorbed. You're not going to be able to use them. You're not going to be able to piece these things together on the day of the SAT when you're running short on sleep. This is not some bro science. There was actually a scientific study that was done on a relationship between sleep and human's performance. And they have concluded that if you're driving, for example, driving sleep deprived is exactly the same thing, if not worse, 
as driving under the influence of alcohol or driving drunk. And although you shouldn't know what it feels like to drive drunk, you get the idea that driving sleeping deprived is going to cause a lot of mess. And it's the exact same thing when you're taking the SAT. If you take the SAT sleep deprived, it's the same thing as taking the SAT drunk. And it's going to be messy, you're not going to perform as well. And if you're wondering how I know this, well, that's because I used to. So, if it's the day before the SAT and you're thinking about staying up until very late, like 12 in the morning, 1, 2, or 3 o'clock in the morning to squeeze in as much information as possible, think twice. It's going to be better for you to go to sleep early and that way you're going to be able to get more questions right. If you're sleep deprived, you're also going to miss the questions that you could have gotten right in the first place. So make sure you go to sleep early so that you can wake up early the next day and perform at your best level possible. If you came this far, I'm going to give you one more last tip and that is for you to not do anything weird on the day of the SAT. For example, if you're the type to drink coffee in the morning, then drink coffee in the morning. Just keep everything the same. Which means if you're not a coffee drinker, then do not chug three cans of Red Bull and two cans of Monster before you walk into the SAT. So SAT is probably coming up very soon and you're going to be very nervous when you wake up the next day. And there's going to be a lot of pressure on you thinking that, oh, if I mess this exam up, my life is over. I'm not going to any university. I'm just done. But as we all know, this is not going to be your last SAT. We have more and more and more SATs coming up. So have a calm mindset. I know it's, go it's going to be easier said than done, but try to stay calm and just pretend it's another practice exam that you're taking. And if it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. You can take the next SAT again and again and again until you get your target score. However, if this is your very, very last SAT, I wish you guys luck. You better perform well. Let's go kill it. So that's going to be it. Good luck, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.